Namaste everyone. Good morning to all and welcome to this morning session. Where we are trying to observe our activities, my activities and the activities of the body. So in this exercise one, I am trying to see my activities and activities of the body. And when we are practicing this exercise two, we have all seven steps of exercise one in background. So let me brief step one to five, then we will take sharing. <clears throat> So in this exercise too, now I am trying to observe the interaction taking place between me and the body. So for that, in step one, we are observing that I and body are two distinct realities. And we are observing it on the basis of activities happening in both the realities. So many activities are going on in me, like desire, thought, expectations, etc. On the basis of that activities, I can say that I exist because I can observe that activities directly. Similarly, activities are happening in my body and on the basis of that direct observation, I can say that body also exists. So in step one, we are trying to observe both the reality distinctly. So with step one, I can say that I and body are two distinct realities but are in coexistence. Once I'm, I am able to see that I and body are two distinct realities, then in step two, we are trying to observe the interaction between the self and the body. If there are two realities, then how the interaction is taking place between the two that we are trying to observe in step two. So with observation, we can see that the interaction between the two in the form of information. Information is being exchanged between the two. There is no physiochemical things is being exchanged between the two. So whenever I think important to interact with body, I instruct the body. Whenever I think important to read sensations happening in the body, I read sensation in the body. So reading this sensation, sensation is also an information and instructing the body. This instruction is also an information. So with step two, I can say that only the information is being exchanged between me and the body. If I am clear about this, then in step three, we are trying to observe who is deciding to give instruction to the body, to read specific sensations from the body. So with our observation, I am able to see that I am the one who decides to give instruction to the body. I am the one who decides to read specific sensations from the body. So there are millions of sensations are taking place in my body. But I read only those sensations which I think important to be read. Similarly, I have choices to give instruction to the body or not. But I interact with body whenever I think it is important. So giving instruction is up to me 
reading sensation happening in the body is up to me. So I interact with the body as and when I require. I interact with the body time to time, not continuously. Similarly, body acts according to the instructions that I give it. So in step three, we are trying to see who is decision maker. So with this exploration, with this practice, we can say that I am decision maker. The self is a decision maker. In body, only activities are taking place. Body is not able to take decide anything by itself. It is me who reads sensation happening in the body, then decide what to do with that information. If I think it is important to respond that sensation, I respond, I instruct to the body. If I think it is not important to respond that sensation, I don't respond. So this is up to me whether to read the sensation, whether to give instruction to the body or not. So in this step three, we can see that I am seer, I am doer and I am enjoyer. Because I see, I observe the body whenever I think it is important to interact with body. I decide what to do with the information that I am reading from the body or what instruction should I give to the body. In that sense, I decide. That's why I am doer. Similarly, I am the one who experiences happiness and unhappiness. So I am enjoyer. So in step three, we are able to see that I am seer, doer and enjoyer and body is just my instrument and it is up to me when to use this instrument i am not bound to interact every time with the body i have choice when to interact with the body with this in step four we are trying to see the distance between the self and the body when i am reading any sensation taking place in my body. I am asking these questions. Am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Am I separate from the sensation? This we are trying to observe. And if we are practicing it, definitely we get answer that I am not the sensation. I am not in the sensation. And there is separation between me and the sensation. But don't assume it as it is. Just observe it and see whether it is true for you or not. Whenever you read any sensation, are you able to figure it out that I am not the sensation? I am not in the sensation. I am at a separate distance between me and the sensation. So this we have to observe. And we can see it by direct observation. So this is up to step four. And in step five, we are trying <clears throat> to see sources of sensation. So first we are trying to see sources of sensation. Then we will see how self comes into picture while reading this sensation. So step by step we are moving and step 5 is very important because here we will be able to see how I interpret the sensation, how I give some meanings to specific sensations and based on sensation, based on that meaning, how I get happy or unhappy in myself. So this interaction of the self and the sensation we are observing in this step 5. So, so first we are trying to observe the sources of the sensations. So there are five, four possible sources. 
that we discussed yesterday one is behavior of other human being so for example someone speaks then that voice or sound comes into my ear and when it touches my ear some sensation takes place in my body it affects my body and this effect we are calling it sensation so am i aware of this sensation that someone is speaking sound comes to him into my ear and some effect takes place in my ear this is happening at the level of body so we have to be aware are we aware we immediately start reacting or responding you know to those person to that person but we have to move step by step first are we aware that some sensation has taken place in my body in my ear because of his speaking so this is one of the sources similarly physiochemical event outside happening and it has some effects on my body suppose there is a heat cold outside for example you are sitting at your chair and that touch of chair create some sensation in your body many people sit cross legged position whenever you put one leg on to another leg it touches your body it creates some sensation you are wearing clothes that clothes touches your body that shirt sari touches your body it creates some sensation there is a fan moving in your room that air touches your body it creates some sensation you pick up your phone or mic when you touch your mic it creates some sensation at your finger similarly when you wear sleeper that sleeper touches your uh, leg it creates some sensation many sensations are taking place in the combination of outside objects are we aware of all these sensations awareness is important sensation are taking place awareness are important similarly many sensations are taking place due to events happening in my body so for example breathing i am taking breathing this is a sensation feeling agitation in my body this is a sensation problem of acidity this is a sensation heartbeat is going on this is a sensation when you sit in a posture for long time it creates some pain it is also a sensation happening in the body heartbeat is going on it is all again a sensation so many sensations are taking place within the body are we aware of all these sensation or most of the sensation awareness is first step then we will see how this self gives some meaning to the sensation but first important thing is are we aware of these sensations similarly if we talk about source four so whenever you remember a person whom you have feeling of opposition with then you feel feeling of opposition in the imagination in your consciousness but the impact can be seen on the body for example when ever i have feeling of opposition in myself for any person i can observe that heart beats go grows it becomes fast fast <clears throat> similarly the color of face turns into red 
some excitement happens at the level of body and some people start moving hand very fastly many things happen when we have a feeling of opposition similarly activities happen in the body when we have a feeling of peace feeling of relationship many times we are in trouble in our sight in our self but we start giving instruction to the body for example if people are in trouble they start moving their leg they start roaming here and there walking here and there so problem is in the self but we can see its impact on the body also so this is how sensations are taking place by various sources so first important point is are we aware of these sensation and its sources this is a important point to be observed so i request all of you that you can write on chat box whatever sensation you are feeling now with its source can you write on chat box then we will talk few participants through co explorer then we will see how many sensations are they able to see and how many sensations are they able to find out with the sources then we will talk one or two co explorer but can we write on chat box what kind of sensation you are feeling with its sources okay so nitu chauhan ji is saying tingling sensation in my feet swapan channa ji fan air imagination inside wind outside tiredness feeling body pain i can read sensation from my state of mind okay amresh ji stomach pain in body swapan ji back pain right understanding and physical facility ji pain in body cold air touching body tara prasanna bhaiya mosquito bite current zoom sound skin visual very nice so let's talk to one or two co explorer then we will see the state of sensation how many sensations are we able to observe this time so what i am observing as usual uh, but there is a somewhat difference between my yesterday's observation and day before that or earlier week yesterday uh, though we were outside for the visit at bithur and all mandana and whole so right from 2:30 up to 8 we all were busy with our body activities so the sensation whatever were coming from the body all they were not red because for example the bus was stopped and the way was not good so there was some opposition but not for me i was observing for others i directly started walking and then took help of uh, some scooter man or uh, with two persons uh, three three seat we went there then observed then same thing for, while coming back also now in the morning as usual i rose by 4:30 taken bath everything and now by 5:40 i am Uh, in front of this gate again so what you are asking to observe outside is the wind uh, chirping of the bird and the sounds so this is uh, but inside the imagination is going on that is very nice feeling that is the happy feeling all the time and feelings of relationship with you all ji bhaiya this is my observation thank you okay ji so in addition to that bird sound are you able to see sensation you know that is coming because of touching your shirt to your body that shirt when touch your body it creates a sensations 
आर यू एबल टू ऑब्जर्व इट नाउ वॉट एवर जी 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 या एट प्रेजेंट माई शर्ट इज ऑन माई हैंड because this is morning right. so i used to have i am wearing only banyan so that uh, shirt is giving creating in, uh, sensations but it is usual it is of no use for me if it is there but that we will see ji ji that it is see whether it is useful or not but जी, जी. are we aware that it is creating a sensation definitely 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 by by chappal literally you जी. are holding your phone or mic जी. ji when you touch your phone that touch creates a sensation in your hand are you aware this time ji <laughs> all the time uh, miss uh, there are two types whatever we are studying right now one is inside another is outside so this uh, this touching can be from the inside it is of course uh, um, outside touching because i am touching the screen so this i think this is outside behavior and imagination which is which driven my hand or the finger to unmute the mic and talk so this is inside i think am i right bhaiya yes, decision is taking place inside ji 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 but an activity the issue, behavior is outside ha huh. so the point is whatever sensation is taking place in my body ji are we aware of those sensation with sources this is we are trying to practice at this moment ji 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 right so similarly there is a fan in your room ji right G. and it the air when air touches your body are you aware of this sensation ji 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 bilkul of course Again, again, I will say that I will feel that air, but I will not feel that sound, which is gar 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 gar. That fan may be doing because it is of no use to me. It is my exploration. You can say that is your decision. That is your decision whether to जी. read or not. G G G. But definitely, I will feel the touch of the air. Right now, I am feeling the uh, sensation from the air outside. G. Right. Similarly. many activities are going on in your body that is जी. not because of outside touch जी. but it is happening in the body ji ji can you feel some sensation happening in your body this time ha ha some hunger like sensation is coming though it is morning right. but by, but my body started at 4:30 so definitely now it is again one one and a half hour so hunger like sensation is coming so i will be searching for the mango now outside somewhere so likewise <laughs> it is going on right thank right. you ji ji so we are practicing this step 5 hai right? na gradually one by one so this time we are we are trying to observe trying to observe the sensations right? suppose we are in a room so we can see many things like fan whenever you see this fan so one part is you feel air that is coming from the fan one sensation may be at your eyes when you see that fan the image is at your eyes this is also a sensation right when you are in room moving here and there whenever you put your step on the ground it creates a sensation on your feet whenever you sit on chair that touch also create a sensation so the issue is all are we aware all those sensation happening in my body the more we are aware the more we will be clear while taking decision right so with awareness we have to observe these sensation then gradually we will see how the self comes into picture you know while giving meaning to these sensation so but the first important point is are we aware of these sensations hmm? or we are doing daily activities by ignoring all those sensations so whenever we practice 
this exercise, we try to observe these sensations. But are we aware all the time that sensations are taking place in my body because of outside environment? Sensation is taking place in my body because of some internal activities of the body. Sensations are taking place in my body because of some impact of my imagination. Sensations are taking place in my body because of some other human being's behavior. So this we have to be aware first. Then the next step, we will move to the next step. Yes, Bhaiya. So during these two days, I was very much busy for for my uh, a function ceremony in in my home. I could not attend also the UHV. So uh, I was doing actually. I was I and my husband is responsible for each and every work, whatever we have to buy for pujas and puja and um, everything for the attending guest and all. So each and every time I was feeling that mentally also I am doing work and physically also I am doing work. And um, the difference in <clears throat> me uh, is uh, what I feel the, after attending this UHP is that, that previously I don't use to be aware each and every time but now when i am doing i have to check each and every item is ready or not um, from catering and everything so i was aware that yes i'm doing this i am feeling my feeling is this one imagination is this one and body uh, even if I, am, I was doing work and after work, I was feeling is the, the body ache, some uh, body ache also in shoulder and all these things I'm feeling. And then again, at that time, I all attending guests also, I'm aware that I'm reading these instructions or if, um, or what, what is happening actually, this happening, uh, physiochemical actions are all happening in my body. And I'm reading these instructions or not. That is that that is the difference. I'm aware whatever is happening in my body. And now when, when I got when I slept yesterday, I had a feeling of tiredness. And now when I'm when I'm listening to you, also I'm doing some uh, breathing exercises along with it. Then also I'm feeling some sort of means uh, shoulder pain like this, feet pain. But after that, whenever you say that we are all reading sensations, what we uh, what we read now, when I am just uh, feeling the fan is rotating and the uh, wind is coming, I can feel that air in my um, body. Also, a very light rain is here here now, so I can feel that touch also the rain sound also, Bhaiya. So that is the difference and this is very much beneficial for me, Bhaiya. So this is my sharing. Very nice, Didi, that your awareness is increasing day by day. Now you are aware in yourself, in imagination. You are aware, you are more aware about the sensations taking place in your body. Now you are more aware the decisions that you are taking. Now you are more aware when you are interacting with the body. This is very nice, Diti. So awareness is important. Mm. The objective of this exercise, one of the objective of this exercise is to increase awareness. So we are mm. doing many things, but the question is, are we doing it with awareness? Suppose some guest comes into our house. So are we aware what is happening at the level of feeling? What happens mm. when I uh, pick that water glass of water and giving to guest? So am I aware that touch of glass with my skin? You know? mm. Am I aware that now I am giving instruction to the body? go and pick up the glass and serve the guest. Mm. Now guests say something. Are we aware that sound is coming to my ear? 
है ना एंड विद दैट साउंड आई एम एबल टू सी ऑब्जर्व द सेंसेशन नाउ आई एम टेकिंग डिसीजन एंड दिस डिसीजन इज माई चॉइस टू रीड और नॉट रीड दैट सेंसेशन ऑल थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग बट द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज आर वी अवेयर ऑफ ऑल दीज इवेंट्स अवेयरनेस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट Mm-hmm. And so, there, there were many people also, and we have so many rituals in our home. So some people are saying that this is the rituals at this time, and some people are saying that this is the ritual at this time, and the pandits are saying that this is the ritual. So I did not feel any irritation that uh, so many people are saying these things. I, I, I myself do not know so much of rituals, but I make it a point that yes, whatever Panditji will say, I will do those things, and whatever people will say, it is their um, level of competence. That feeling also, I can feel that is happening inside me. I am not feeling irritated, and this is the best thing what I can um, feel. This after attending this CVHP via, so thank you so much to you all. Okay, Diti, very nice to be. Okay, so the awareness is important. We are seeing our laptop. We are holding our mobile device. We are sitting on the chair. All these things are happening. as daily routine but are we aware of the sensations coming from various sources once we are aware of those sources those sensations then we will see how we associate meaning to those sensations and how these meanings make me happy or unhappy that that we will see but the first point is how much we are aware of these sensations so as mm. i said millions of activities are going on in my body but mm. are we aware of this mm. when you are taking bath water comes touches your body mm. from mm. head to toe mm. are we aware of those sensations so mm. awareness is important then we will see how to handle all those things mm. right didi mm. yes bhai okay didi thank you so now we can take 5 minute pause and in this 5 minute pause we will try to observe sensations and we will try to identify source also so supp- suppose some sensation is taking place in my body are we able to see this sensation are we able to see the source of this sensation it is taking place because of some internal events of the body or in combination of some outside environment or it is happening in the body because of some trouble is going on in my imagination and it is impacting my body or this sensation is taking place because of some others behavior so we will observe all this for 10 minutes now it's time 6 5 so 615 we will come back and then we can share our observation okay so now we can sit comfortably and we will try to observe the sensations and then we will try to identify the source of the sensation also so let's sit comfortably and start observing lose your body don't force your body just lose your body sit peacefully and try to observe sensations happening in the body and once you observe you try to find out the source of this sensation then move to next part of the body in next part of the body try to read sensation and try to find out the source of the this sensation then move to next part of the body so you have to move around your body reading sensation find out the source reading sensation find out the source let's try this for 10 minutes next 10 minutes okay so we can sit and try to observe our body for next 10 minutes so exercise was very simple 
the exercise is to sit comfortably lose your body start reading sensation from top of the head see what is happening at your head at top of the head are you able to read this sensation then are you able to identify the source of this sensation if yes then we will move to next part at a distance then see another part just read the sensation try to identify the source if you are sure that you have read the sensation then move to the next sensation next part read that sensation and try to find out the source this we have to we had to do so i hope you are able to do this in the previous 10 minutes okay can any can anybody share from sur namaste didi uh, actually sir uh, uh, i am uh, feeling some uh, irritation every day in the evening because of my neighbor actually she comes uh, when uh, her kids are in home to uh, home tutor will come for their uh, children so when they start their tuition she will come here in uh, to our home and my son is also the same class of uh, her son so uh, when they are studying she comes here and she talks unnecessary things which makes me so irritated and i have tried to convey it in a good sense that uh, i have some work or i am irritated to listen about all those such uh, you know uh, previous x uh, x uh, informations and all i just conveyed it but still she continues to say about it i don't know how to uh, overcome this problem without hurting her because when i go to office i leave my kid in their home uh, i go early uh, so i i have to rely on her actually so i don't know how to overcome this problem because of this i am getting irritated whenever i come home sir ji de de so we will discuss this issue didi hai na uh, this time we are doing one exercise sir actually i am getting that sensation because of her behavior i am getting irritated no, from morning also i am getting that sensation only okay i am wasting time in the evening because of that uh, event every day it happens and that will be running in my mind so i will share some you know things to you so it is if you try to find out the region of reaction which is going on in your imagination okay. so what is the reason the reason is their child children or reason is feeling of opposition in you what is making you unhappy the main reason is uh, i am not able to uh, coach my child because of her presence yes so you are not able to coach your child that's why you have a feeling of opposition for that lady because it's... we think that because of that lady because she is not able to understand my problem hmm. that's why i have a feeling of opposition for her hmm. and this feeling of opposition is making me in trouble is it right or not yes sir <clears throat> right so if it is right then first step is you have to ask yourself is this feeling of opposition is naturally acceptable to me or not no sir no it is okay if it is not then you ask yourself why i am in a reaction state if it this feeling is not naturally acceptable to me then why i am taking decision of this reaction so most probably due to my own assumptions you know that one of the assumptions could be that 
others should understand my problem. This I have assumed. Other must have as understand my problems. Yes. And the other is not able to understand your problem. But we have assumed that other must understand my problem. And he, he or she is not able to understand my problem. That's why I am in reaction. And, and making myself in trouble. So, this problem can be solved at two levels. First, at the level of self, my imagination. Then, by communicating my feeling to other. So, first, we have to sort out in my imagination. So, this reaction is happening in me because of my own assumptions. So, what can we do? We can be in a feeling of relationship with our decision immediately. So, if you ask yourself, what is naturally acceptable to me? Feeling of relation or opposition? Definitely, you will get answer, feeling of relation. Yes. Then, with this feeling of relation, you try to resolve the issue. With the feeling of trust, with the feeling of respect, you try to resolve this issue. You communicate your issues, but you can communicate with the feeling of relationship. In okay. this manner, you will not be victim of those that reaction, at least. Okay. Right? So, with the feeling of relationship, with the feeling of trust, you communicate your issues to that okay. lady or neighbor. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But we have a feeling of relationship. Otherwise, you are getting victim. Children come for two hours, but you are getting victim for 24 hour. Oh, yes. Yes, please. And, and this creates again a uh, un unconditional environment to, for your children because you will start saying something about that lady and so and so and it will create a other type of environment in your home. Yes, please. So what we can do, first we can resolve in ourselves. Is this feeling naturally acceptable to me? If no, then why I am in a reaction? The answer is because I have a feeling of opposition. So ask yourself, how will I think if I have a feeling of relationship? So if you do this exercise one, from step one to five, okay, step one to six, then you will be able to resolve yourself. This is the first priority. Okay, yeah. And with that resolution, you can find out possible ways to communicate with that lady. Okay. Yeah. Thank right. you. Thank so try this. Try this. If it doesn't work, then share again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Didi. So we are doing this exercise to step five where we are trying to find out, we are, we are trying to read sensations happening in our body. And while reading this sensation, we are also trying to identify the source. Are we aware the sensation and about its source? So this we have to practice all the time, all the day. When you start your car, you touch your steering of that car, it creates sensation on your body. When you are traveling with car, there are sound of car itself, it creates some sensation in your body. When you are stuck in traffic, someone is making horn, that sound touches your ear, it is creating sensation. And if in that traffic situation, someone speaks to you, some scent, sound comes into your mind, uh, in your ear, and it creates some sensation in your body. Then you go to your office, talk with persons. Whenever you see person whom you, for whom you have good feeling, can you see the impact at your body? Once you see the person for whom you don't have a feeling of relationship, can you see impact at your body? So all this we have to do for the day. All time 
we have to be aware what is happening so with this awareness we will be able to solve many problems so this we have to do all the day all the time whenever you are aware are you aware of this sensation its source so once we are aware then we will move toward this self how this self how when this self comes into picture when giving this uh, meaning to this particular sensation that sequence we will see in detail but first point is to be aware aware of the sensations taking place in my body so now it's time for hindi session so we can stop here but for all co explorer we can do this exercise all the time